Oh, hey, how are you guys doing today? We're gonna talk about how to prepare and stretch some watercolor paper. Let's get started. All right, you might wonder, why do we have to stretch it? And what is stretching? Great question, let me explain. The reason that we stretch it is to prevent buckling. As we get the paper wet, it's going to expand. If we get it wet at different times, it's going to expand unevenly. You'll get a very wrinkly and buckled paper. This is gonna give you unwanted texture and may also cause your watercolors to pool in areas and ways that you didn't want it to do. So, as you can see, I have all my materials prepared. Some things you wanna make sure that you have. A paintbrush and or sponge. You'll wanna make sure that you have some tape. You may want to try a water bottle. You'll want a cloth or paper towel to dab down your paper at the end. And you'll want to make sure that you have a board to attach your paper to. And of course, some water. All right, let's go ahead and get started. The first technique I'm going to show you is the spray bottle. You take a bottle, fill with just plain old water, and you're gonna start spraying down your paper nice and evenly. I like to do it back and forth. The next technique I'm gonna show you, you're going to apply water using a paintbrush or a sponge. I personally prefer to use a sponge. When I use the sponge, I like to get it damp, not dripping wet, but nice and damp. All right, after you have the first side completely wetted down, we're gonna flip it over and do the back side. Same thing. All right, the next technique we're gonna look at is how we give it a bath to soak. This technique works really well for getting it entirely wet. This is probably the best technique, but you might not have access to a large basin of water at home. So sometimes it's not the easiest one to do. If you're able to fully submerge the paper, that's the best way to do it. I would recommend doing it for at least a few minutes. My container is not large enough to fully submerge. So I'm just gonna do this for about two or three minutes. After you have your paper, completely wet it down, no matter what technique you use, you're going to gently lay it down as I did on your wood. One more pass over with the sponge. This is to make sure the paper is laying flat and that you have removed any air bubbles. I like to start in the middle and work my way outwards. It also helps prevent any large pooling of water that might soak into one area more than another. After you have it laid completely flat and you've removed any air bubbles, I like to leave it like this for about two or three minutes. That gives it time for the water to absorb into the paper and to dry just a little bit before we put the tape on. Now that I've let this sit for about two or three minutes, the water has fully absorbed in and it's expanded to its maximum. So we are going to now tape it to the wood. All right here, I have some tape. My favorite type of tape to use is water activated gummy tape. I unfortunately don't have any, but masking tape will do. We're gonna tape down each side. I'm gonna start right over here. I'm gonna press it down along the edge of the paper. And then I'm gonna press it down again to make sure it's on the wood. We're gonna do that to all the edges. Now that we have our paper stretched and we have it applied down to the wood, as it dries, this will help prevent it from buckling and wrinkling. Now we're ready to paint. After you're done painting, you just simply gotta remove the tape. Pretty easy. Make sure you do it very slowly so that you don't rip your paper. I like to hold the paper down 
to prevent any pulling. Swish.